India and China say they have pulled back troops from parts of their disputed Himalayan border. This comes as China released this footage, which it says shows fighting on the poorly marked border that led to the deaths of 24 troops last June. Joining us now to explain is Bloomberg's Shruti Ranjan Sen from New Delhi. Shruti, we saw vicious clashes last year, followed by anger from both sides. How do we get to this point now where troops have withdrawn? Well, uh, to begin with, I mean, there have been uh, 10 rounds of talks, and the 10th round uh, of talks was after the disengage disengagement happened uh, at the glacial lake, uh, which is at about 15,000 feet in the Himalayas. But uh, to be fair enough, it's correct. I mean, till about the eighth round of talks, there were no progress with both sides coming up with proposals and counter proposals. And on the ninth round, we saw both sides kind of agreeing uh, and saying that, well, we need to go back. And that's how the disengagement happened. Uh, we must remember that it's been a, you know, it's been a very, very long standoff, and and the terrain out there, this, the 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 temperatures drop to about minus 45 degrees Celsius in winters. Even when the summers, uh, as the summers come in, temperatures are around minus 15, minus 20 at times. So it's a very, very hostile area. Water is short. Uh, so all these factors put together, it looks like both sides agree to kind of step back and talk. Right. And the temperatures seem to have cooled, but the propaganda continues, right? We've seen the footage broadcast on Chinese TV that the Chinese government says show last year's clashes. Yes. Uh, in fact, uh, that, that's been quite something that, you know, a lot of people and uh, people who do China policy, in fact, uh, uh, in India are trying to wrap their heads around and I'm trying to figure out why these have been released. Mind you, when the clashes happened last June, we've seen statements from India saying that uh, China too suffered casualties. Uh, to that, uh, there was a stunned silence. There was no recognition of the fact uh, that soldiers on the other side too had been killed. But as we are disengaging, uh, we see China accepting the four people had been, at least four people had been killed, and they've come out with a video. Uh, so, so. From where I stand and the people I spoke to, uh, you know, there's still no clarity why uh, China is kind of has released these videos. We, you know, and, and as the talks go on, perhaps uh, in the 11th or the 12th round, when the talks go on for disengaging uh, and final de escalation, complete de escalation that is pulling back of troops, bringing them back to where they were, uh, you know, last April, perhaps you're going to get more clarity on why. Uh, you know, the propaganda videos came out at this point of time. All right, that's Bloomberg's Shudi Ranjan Sen from New Delhi.